And I was an intern. I cared for a patient who really didn't like me. She was terse and impatient, and I felt like I was always walking on eggshells, trying not to say the wrong thing to draw her ire. And I had really begun to dread our encounters. And one night, she was put on droplet precautions to rule out a respiratory viral illness. And so the next day, before I went to see her, I put on a mask and a face shield. And when I went in the room, she did not recognize me. And before I could say anything, she just says, oh, my God. Thank goodness, a new doctor. That other doctor was terrible. And then she proceeds to enumerate all of my many, many shortcomings. And some of them were unfair, but mostly they were guttingly accurate. And it is a really weird experience to have someone give you this totally unvarnished, unguarded opinion. Uh, and, you know, I did not have the courage to tell her that that other doctor and I were one and the same. So I think I murmured something about, she'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt totally crushed. Yeah. You know, I think we all want to have this growth mindset, but sometimes getting critical feedback is just really hard to hear. Yeah. Um, and I felt like she had held up this mirror and reflected all the doubts that I had about myself. Um, and so I was really sad. But I also felt liberated because I felt like I had this secret weapon. Now, and I knew that the main thing that had been bothering her was that um, there were a lot of consultants offering their expert advice, but she felt like the communication was not strong and that there wasn't someone leading the ship. And so the next day, I took what she had said and I asked all of the consultants to come and meet together at the same time in her room and talk about the plan together. Wow. And I can't say that she was exactly pleased, but our relationship really thawed after that. I think even though it was hard, I was grateful that my doppelganger had received this information. <laughs> but I just wish that my real self had had the courage to just ask her what was bothering her. And I yeah. could have information sooner.